An assemblywoman in Nevada is defending her decision to allow her five-year-old grandson to hold a gun during the family Christmas picture. Now, we have her defense of this decision on Fox News in just a minute, but first I want you to take a quick look at the picture in question. Features a large family with, as you can see, some children, the five-year-olds in the front holding uh, a gun. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that's missing from this picture is... I just, I mean, it just perfectly illustrates how gun obsessed this country is, right? Because it's Christmas. How do you mix Christmas and guns, Christmas and death? I get it. You guys love your guns. You see it as a sport. You see it as something fun. But you have to include it in your Christmas pictures. It's incredible. And also, look, I don't care what the excuse is. I don't care if it's unloaded. I don't care if this kid is some genius when it comes to using firearms. You don't give a five-year-old a gun. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Okay, I'm not in favor of banning guns. I want common sense regulation, but I'm in favor of banning guns when it comes to five-year-olds. Her explanation almost makes it worse. We're going to get to that in a second. But, okay, how about the kids, the babies that are not holding guns? I mean, I hope, 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 but I'm not positive that they were, all the guns were not loaded, right? You think these knuckleheads who think it's a great idea to pose in a Christmas picture with a ton of weaponry made absolutely sure there wasn't one in the chamber, right? And how many, have you ever held kids while trying to take a picture? So what if something goes wrong and they squirm and, oh, no, they hit one of the guns? Oh, no. There's three babies in that picture. Are you telling me they're all responsible gun users, too? Yeah. Now, that's the claim they make for the five-year-old. This is <laughs> insanity. I just, I'm so stupid. I just realized exactly why that entire family is holding guns. P put the picture up again. Just read the message at the bottom. The assemblywoman left a little message for all her constituents, right? From my family to yours, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, Michelle Fiore. That's the woman in question here. That's the assemblywoman. And the one with the shotgun, right? Yes. And the reason why she's doing this is because it speaks to her Republican base. They see this and they think, America. <laughs> I mean, right? That's, that's why she's doing it. I mean, they otherwise. They look like a fucking gang. <laughs> they look like criminals. I don't know. Do I, look at the picture again. Look at grandma with the automatic weapon or whatever that thing is, the assault weapon. Can you imagine? Hold on. Think about this for a second. That's grandma, right, in the middle? I mean, she looks like she's about to murder half the town. No, but can you imagine if this was a black family oh, 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 or oh, a Muslim family. Oh my God, imagine they have hijabs on. Just imagine for okay. one second, the and, outrage. And, and okay, for, for my family to yours, uh, happy Ramadan. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't go over well. But if you're good Christian <laughs> and you got your shotguns, you got your assault weapons, and you got a five-year-old pulling a gun like this, mm -hmm. Oh my God, imagine you're, it's just like you said, it's a black representative from the Bronx. And they just as Christian takes that picture. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that the American public wouldn't treat that story the same as they're treating this story. Now, uh, this assemblywoman went on Fox News to defend her decision to do this, and her defense is ridiculous, as you can imagine. So take a look. And the negative comments, I must tell you, Steve, most vile and insulting comments I've ever read. You know, I, I really don't know their, what their point is. I mean, Christmas is a family affair. Um, I think uh, getting firearms uh, as a present and giving firearms as presents is a great present. And I think, again, because Christmas is a family affair, our ultimate responsibility is to protect and make sure our family is safe. Jake is quite familiar with Eddie the Eagle, which is an NRA uh, gun safety uh, program for children. And just last night, we were in the laundry room doing laundry, and I said, hey, Jake, what does Eddie the Eagle say? What do you do when you see a gun? And he spouted it out, the songs and stuff. So he's, he's got it. And if you look at that picture real close, you'll see his finger is not on the trigger. That five-year-old grandson of mine has total trigger control. I mean, all you need to do is let five-year-olds watch videos on really important life or death situations and they'll make the right decisions. So we should let five-year-olds drive cars because all they need to do is watch a car cartoon about it and they'll know what they're doing. They'll know how to put that signal on when they want to switch lanes. He watched an NRA cartoon and yeah. sang a song about it so you think he knows how to handle a weapon. Yeah. This is a representative of the people of Nevada.
I have a five-year-old. I, I hesitate to give him a foam sword for the damage that he could do with it, <laughs> right? A weapon, a gun, are you insane? Yeah, my five-year-old also sings songs, right? And yes, he's also seen cartoons, including Megatron and Optimus Prime and all that stuff. I'm not like, no, no, it's okay. He watched the Ninja Power Rangers. He knows how to be responsible with weaponry. <laughs> These people are lunatics, man. Thank God, as far as we know, the weapons weren't loaded. Because if they were, you know what five-year-olds do? The, they do what they've seen in the other cartoons, which is... I know. I mean, look, if, if that doesn't perfectly show you how far this country has gone in terms of being obsessed with guns, I don't know what would show you. How can anyone defend a five-year-old holding a gun? I don't care if you think it's unloaded. You never know what kind of situation that kid's in.